Hello friends, welcome back! I'm still working on things that I'm not supposed to show, so I did another very quick uh, sketch in between to keep both you and me occupied. These are actually original characters of mine, but I didn't really draw the elf guy in years, and now it feels as if I have to teach myself how to draw from scratch. I have a suspicion that he never looked as little like himself as he does here. He used to be like my default character, whom I would always doodle for warm-ups or when I didn't know what else to draw and just wanted to get my daily sketch done. But that's okay, I'll eventually remember how to draw him. I even only afterwards realized that I forgot quite a few of the jewelry pieces that I used to put on him. Um, but it's okay too, I used to draw him with different sets of rings and bracelets and so on, basically in every drawing I ever did of him anyway. So I never actually um, made a reference sheet with what the jewelry actually looks like. I should have done, I'm aware of that, but I was always too lazy, so it was okay. So he basically basically had different sets of jewelry in every single illustration I've ever done of him. So uh, we'll just continue with the trend. Which is an interesting experience in itself anyway, just like after a few years you just forget what your own characters look like or you for don't forget what they look like but you forget how to draw them. But okay, uh, as I said, I'll eventually learn it again. <laughs> and yes, the raven counts as a character as well, it's a she before you ask, just so you know. Okay, and by the way, when artists say that they're doing warm-up sketches, then it usually means that they want to draw, but they don't want to draw what they're expected to draw and what they have to do for work or whatever. Uh, so they do warm-ups of something they want to draw, and yeah, just to keep doing uh, something and keep drawing without having to draw the thing that they don't want to draw. At least that's what I do. It still actually helps, though, so muscle memory is really fascinating and your drawings after like a three hour drawing session actually do look better than the first ones that you've done the same day. It's really fascinating, so warm-ups do actually work, which doesn't mean um, you absolutely have to do something you just self-indulgently want to draw for your warm-ups. You could do something that would like help you with something useful, um, you could do a warm-up sketch for an next commission or something like that, but who does that? I don't. Um, I'm not trying to sugarcoat that. <laughs> but I have an excuse um, for the occasional extra wonky lines or spots on the canvas here that actually don't belong here. My cat uh, thought it was a really good idea to step on the keyboard multiple times. I'm on a laptop, so both the keys and the trackpad occasionally do things. So that's my excuse um, whenever something looks even more uh, like it doesn't belong there than it usually does. Um, I'd also like to point out uh, that this bluish shade is actually elven skin color. I thought for a while whether I should make um, elven skin color in that thing, like realistic um, albino color, which wouldn't wouldn't be quite that cold and uh, that bluish alabaster color. It would be more like a very, very pale skin color. But then again, there are moments when I'm just enjoying the alabaster color and I simply leave it be. Um, the raven, however, is supposed to have realistic albinism, not fantasy albinism. Um, so maybe I could have picked a shade of white that is a bit warmer um, than what I will be using soon in the video, but I'm fine with it for now. Um, those who watch this and who have known me for quite a while will also know that blue is my favorite color and that it's also my color of choice whenever I do something monochrome. So I simply enjoy it when everything is shades of blue, so I'm actually fine with the way it will be afterwards. I have no excuse, however, why I didn't bother to actually draw a proper plate. Um, if I'd put effort into this drawing, I would have skimmed through my reference library for proper pictures of plate and then imitate the patterns. Um, there's no need to actually draw fabric textures if you're doing very much stylized cel-shaded comic style art uh, that would look weird and out of place, but proper patterns would have looked nice. It, I was just too lazy and I apologize, I really wanted to sleep. That's it. So I still uh, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. And as I said earlier, I will occasionally accept sketch requests when I'm not currently working on any projects that I could show you. So feel free to reach out to me on any social media that you want. The links are down in the description below. As I said, hope you enjoyed, have a nice day and see you next time!